नमस्ते सुनील अगेन सो टुडे वी आर इन द ब्यूटीफुल टाउन ऑफ मैंग्लो सो दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट ऑन ग्रेड सोलर प्रोजेक्ट इन मैंग्लो सो हियर वी हैव एट एट अ साइट वेयर वी हैव इंस्टॉल्ड अ 4.5 किलोवाट ऑन ग्रिड सिस्टम यूजिंग एन फेस माइक्रो इन्वर्टर सो दिस इज अ प्रोजेक्ट वेयर वी हैव यूज्ड पैनासोनिक सोलर पैनल्स ऑफ 450 फिफ्टी वॉट पीक ईच एंड यू कैन सी हियर देर इज नो वॉक वे इन दिस साइट uh this site did not require a walkway because we had enough elevation here so to my left and right are five panels each each of these is uh, uh, 450 watt peak so this makes 4.5 kilowatt uh, solar pv system so uh, this is in the beautiful town of manglo where the rainfall is heavy and the winds are also heavy so you can uh, see here this is actually anchored onto the roof using uh, hilti bolts so you can see here we have been, we have anchored this structure using uh, hilti bolts and hilti epoxy and uh, the spacing is given so that the shadow of one panel does not fall on the other and there's enough walkway here to easily move and clean the panels and um, uh, today i want to stress a little bit about cleaning and maintenance as well so we have we, we get many questions from our customers regarding uh, cleaning of the panels so it's very important to clean the panels only during early in the morning or late in the evening it's not advisable to clean the panels during uh, uh, good sunshine or during the noon times and it's very important when you are using uh, a cloth to clean you must use a soft microfiber cloth to uh, clean the panels okay and as i told you you must use plain water and clean it only during early in the day or late in the evening for uh, inaccessible areas you can use a telescopic uh, cleaning uh, cloth like this so this can clean the panels right in one of the videos i have also shown you how you can use a sprinkler in automatic cleaning systems as well but for smaller systems it's actually uh, advisable to just go for a manual cleaning and uh, the frequency it is better that you know uh, you clean the panels at least twice a month if not more than that but you must be careful to use microfiber cloth and not to use any harsh detergents on the glass it's best to use plain water and a microfiber cloth to clean the panels so a quick word also about the structure you saw how it has been anchored using hilti anchor bolts and the entire structure is done by uh, gi on the gi actually we write coated yellow oxide and then again painted the gi as well so the structure is made sure that you know it is completely corrosion resistant as i told you this is a coastal town of mangalore so it becomes very important to design the structure in a way that it is corrosion free and i have earlier spoken about uh, micro inverters so again in this side we have used uh, micro inverter of uh, n phase this is the 7a series of uh, micro inverters so i have explained in detail about the micro inverters and its advantages but there is a link in the description below which talks more about the micro inverters but to make a point again see these are the micro inverters you can see here it has been anchored here this is the uh, iq 7a series of micro inverters so all the 10 panels here are connected in parallel see each of these each of this panel and this panel and this inverter makes one one discrete element so there are 10 different inverters so 10 different systems actually so the advantage of the micro inverters is say for example this inverter fails for some reason the other nine will work so the generation is not compromised to that extent and there are a lot of other advantages also see as you can see the inversion takes place right here so there is no dc cabling dc arcing so no dc hassles are not there in this kind of a system plus say after few years for example this panel breaks down for some reason so you can take any panel available in the market and just fit it and the system works unlike a string inverter configuration wherein there will be mismatches due to uh, electrical characteristics of different panels which can lead to compromise in generation there are a lot of other advantages also which i have mentioned in the description below so this is about the inverter so there is a Panasonic monopoc twin peak panels and IQ7A micro inverters. So this is about the system installed on the rooftop here. Ten panels of 450 uh, watt peak each, which makes 4.5 kilowatt system. Twin peak monopoc panels and uh, micro inverters of uh, N phase make N uh, IQ7A series. The other plus point of this inverter is, see tomorrow after maybe couple of years, you want to change this to a hybrid system that is you want to integrate a battery into the system and make it work even in 
non grid conditions you can just integrate the, uh, the the batteries to this no need to change the inverter same inverter can be configured into a hybrid system that system as we speak is not available in india but i think in during the course of time it should be made available here so that's about the system which is installed on the on the rooftop we will now go down and see the different protections given and how this has been integrated into the grid and there are certain parameters which i would like to draw your attention to so we will discuss all that when we go down and look at the electrical panel in the acd So I spoke to you about the solar panels, I spoke to you about the structure, I also spoke to you about the micro inverter. However, the most important part of the on grid system is the integration of the solar system with the grid. Okay. So I have spoken in earlier videos on how the grid integration happens. Uh, here there are a few more components, let me go through in detail about all those uh, components. So, this is our main BESCOM or the uh, MESCOM or the DISCOM grid. This is where the power comes from the mains. See, you can see here, this is the mains. It is coming to the meter and these are the fuses. So, the power from here before it gets into the, into the load or the appliances of the house goes through a set of protections. These are very important for both from the load point of view and also from the solar point of view. So, from the meter, the power first gets into the MCB. There is a 1 plus 2 SPD or a surge protection device which is grounded and then there is a, a relay, a over voltage and under voltage protection relay, a contactor for the same. Then we have a earth leakage circuit breaker. So, the power from the mains goes through all these components and there is a load bus bar here. It has been crimped by the MESCOM or the DISCOM uh, people. So, I can't open this box. Essentially, there is a bus bar inside. So, the load goes into this bus bar. From this bus bar, the load is distributed into the house. Now, in the same bus bar, our solar is also integrated. So, now I will show you the solar ACDB or the solar control box. So, we have the solar control box. Here, the power from the solar panels first comes into the MCB. Since it is a single phase system, we have a two pole MCB. We have a type 2 SPD that is also grounded here. Then, we also have an over voltage protection relay. So, this over voltage protection relay senses the grid. So, this is the grid. If there is uh, any over voltage from the grid, this immediately trips off, thereby protection, protecting our inverters. This relay also senses the grid, that is it senses this power, the incoming power and this trips off in case of over voltage or under voltage. This relay, this also senses the grid, but it is sensing it here. In a way, both are actually same. So, we have now a MCB, we have a SPD. We have an over voltage under voltage protection relay and we also have a ELCB and this is a on void. In a way, you can say this is this controls either this is one of the main components of this end phase uh, IQ 70 uh, system or any IQ or any end phase uh, system. This basically connects our solar system to the cloud. So, all the solar parameters are captured here and transmitted to the cloud all the data are, are flashing next to you. So, it takes up the current production, the historical production, any errors in the system. It also gives a graphical format of the solar uh, panel array which shows each panel how much each is generated. I will show you here also, it is also there on my phone. So, just a minute. So, this essentially this envoy is very helpful and very essential for a micro inverter based. Uh, on grid system. So, uh, I will show you the uh, this particular site, I will show you all the parameters. 
So as I told you, this this envoy it picks up a lot of data from a solar system and transmits it to the cloud. So this is the system. So it gives a lot of uh, data. For example, it shows today what is the energy produced today. It is showing 9.2 units of energy has been produced today, and the peak of 2.3 kilowatt. It also gives us the energy, uh, how much energy is produced over the course of the day. I can also take uh, weekly data, monthly data, and uh, uh, so on. And it also gives us the array details. See, this is the on a graphical uh, representation of our solar array. So it shows each panel how much each has been each has generated today. It can also give you the historical data. Plus, if any panel is showing a fault or any inverter not working. It will show up in this uh, graphical picture. So, it, it on the web app you can actually see a lot more parameters like power and lot of graphs. So, this is just in a nutshell how much how the kind of data which actually gets transmitted through this envoy. So, this is our uh, ACDB box in, in general. We also have a, a generation meter. The the discounts of a particular state do require a generation side meter for their uh, internal calculation. So, we have also provided that and this of course is a bus bar. There are some general instructions which we actually do keep in every site. So, as I mentioned on the top, it is important to actually clean the panels at least twice a month and you know it is better to clean the panels during early mornings or a little later in the day and there are so many other uh, uh, maintenance instructions we actually that we actually leave it at the site like a like a board here so it's here uh, for the for the customer to refer it once whenever required but the most important thing is to keep the panels clean to keep the inverter area dry and uh, and clean to check for structural integrity at least once in a once in a quarter and to make sure all our things are in place and all the cabling etc then there's, there's no loose connection so this is about the acdb box so we have got lot of components, the the load side protection, the input side protection and we have got the bidirectional meter. This is the bidirectional meter. This records the energy exported and imported. So, this is the imported energy 218.4, exported energy of 324.3 uh, units. So, this is the bidirectional meter. So, we have got the fuses, we have got all the protections on the uh, solar panel side as well. So, this is about the ACDB and the grid integration parameters and the grid integration details. So, this completes the, the system. So, there is a panel, inverter, structure and all the AC related components both from the solar side and the grid side. So, the sustainability story of this house does not end just with solar. There is also a remote harvesting system here. As you saw, there is a pretty good catchment and clean catchment there. So, water from the clean catchment gets into the filter there, that is the pre filter. After the pre filter, the water gets into this uh, baffle tank. There are two chambers, this is technically called an upflow filter. So, the water uh, gets into this first chamber, gets filtered top down and goes through the pipes given below, and from the other chamber, it flows from bottom up. So, it is an upflow filter, the water gets filtered here and the filtered water gets into this really beautiful well. This is close to about uh, 40 feet deep uh, well, technically called uh, an unconfined aquifer. So, this is both used for recharging the water into the ground and also to withdraw. You can see this water available, good sweet water available here. So, this water is used for all purposes in the house including uh, drinking. So, the water here is at atmospheric pressure and uh, this is used both for recharging the harvested rainwater that is the rainwater from the rooftop gets into this uh, well and this is also used as a withdrawal well that is a source of water. So, a lot of sustainability initiatives has been taken by sir here. So, this is about the water thing. So, as I told you this is our first on grid system uh, in the beautiful town of uh, Mangalore. So, uh, a big thank you to our customer here who had faith in us and we came all the way from Bangalore to actually do this uh, project. We also thank our local partners here who actually liaison with the local discom to get the system serviced on time. So, uh, we look forward to more projects in this beautiful town in the coming years. Thank you very much.